Welcome to Solar Depot Nigeria Limited. We are on a trip to Jos, the capital city of Plato State, for another solar installation. This installation involves a 5 kVA 48 volt multiplus Victron inverter, 15 to 55 watt polycrystalline trailer solar panels, 8 pieces of 6 volt 400 amp power thunderbolt AGM batteries. This system is designed to capture 3825 watt peak capacity of solar energy to be stored in 8 pieces of 6 volt 400 amp power with a total of 19200 watt hour battery bank. The 15 solar panels are to be mounted on a carport using professional aluminum roof mounts. This will allow easy flow of water and smooth air circulation to prevent heat from being built up to crack the solar panels or reduce the expected voltage that is meant to transfer the solar energy from the solar panels to the charge controllers and be stored in the battery bank. The 15 kVA inverter is mounted on the wall using a wooden board for easy communication and aesthetics. This system has 85 amp 150 VDC MPPT charge controller, fuse box, communication devices and such protectors all mounted on the board. All these are connected to a 19,200 watt hour battery bank with all the eight batteries connected in series. At Solar Depot Nigeria Limited, we monitor all our installations by logging on to the Victron Energy Remote Monitoring Portal. Click on the specific installation to be monitored. As can be seen, here is a graph showing the energy consumption or load capacity to be powered by the inverter, the solar energy generation and the battery capacity of the system. Presently the consumption is 176 watts, solar generation is 422 watts because the batteries are in the absorption stage of the battery charging stages which are bulk, absorption and float. The grid is 0 watt because the system is totally off grid. The battery is 93% charged and no generator is connected. By clicking on the advanced button, we'll see the other parameters like the activities of the MPPT to charge the batteries. From bulk, this started at 6.39 am to 11.02 am meaning that polycrystalline panels have early startups just like monocrystalline panels. Absorption started at 11.02 and ended at 12.02. Float started at 12.02 till date. You can see the solar charger voltage and current, battery state of charge, PV yield, starting from 6 a.m. The PV yield was 0 watts, meaning that the environment was still dark. There was no solar energy generated at that time. Peaked at 1101, meaning that that is the peak capacity of the solar generation that day. And that was 2,241 watts. Now at 1500, the PV yield is 422 watts because the battery is already at the absorption stage and little current is trickling into the battery. Battery voltage is uh, 422 watts, charge state is float and battery voltage presently is 54.87 volt. Let's look at the inverter parameters. AC in is 0 VAC 0 amps and 0 watts. Alternating current generated by the inverter to power the load is 230.4 VAC. That's 230 volts, 0 0.9 amps and 176 watts. DC current is still at 54.56 volts for batteries and the battery is losing 3.8 amps. List of devices connected to this system includes color control which is a communication device, 5 kVA multiplus inverter and MPPT charger. You can view the remote console for pictorial details of all activities going on on the solar system. 
For more information and a request for this kind of installation, kindly visit us on www.solardepotng.com or call the following numbers. You can also visit us at our office at number 46 Hope Road, Alakia Ibadan. Kindly like this video and to receive more of our videos, click on the subscribe button to subscribe to our YouTube channel.